Hey guys, Max here. Welcome to this in-depth review of the Huawei X3 Pro router. Today I'm going to show you how we set up this router and also what are the speed and coverage that come with it. So let's get started. First I'm just going to power on the router by plugging it to the wall. We can see that the router lights up in red color, meaning that the router is not actually connected to the internet. So we need to set it up to make sure it connects to the internet. As I want to use the Huawei router as a wire extender, I'm just going to plug the Ethernet cable that comes from my router into the actual Huawei router. Now we just need to set it up using the iLink app to finally check this Wi-Fi 6. So now I'm just going to add to my smartphone Wi-Fi settings and hit the Wi-Fi access point that comes from the router. Now we have three options. The first one we need to check it as it is the Huawei license agreement. The second one is the user experience program, so if you want to help one way with their products, you can check it. And the last one is to allow the router to update itself. Now we have some more options, starting with the aggregation of the 2.4 and 5G bands. And then you have your SSID plus your password used to connect your devices to the network and you can also check the last option to use the same password for your network and for your administration. Finally you can choose to use IPv6 or not with the second option and you can leave the first option as it is as it is just a general mode for the Wi-Fi. And if you set it up like me, the router just gonna turn green, meaning the router is actually working. Then, if you need to update your router, you can just add the iLink app, the official Huawei Wi-Fi app. And once you open the app, you'll get a notice that the device has an update, so you can choose to update the device, just like me. Just wait a little while and the device will be updated. Once the device is updated, you can add to the tools section of the iLink app and you'll get access to multiple options such as the smaller range of Wi-Fi coverage. So you can choose to use more battery or less battery and have greater coverage or smaller coverage. You can also add to the guest Wi-Fi if you want a guest Wi-Fi. Or you can go to the Wi-Fi off section. So if you want to have off periods for your Wi-Fi, you can choose. You also have the Wi-Fi network optimization. So you can choose channels for your Wi-Fi and you also have access to the link plus app so you can get the information about your device and all the ip properties and finally you can go to the doc diagnose so you can check there if everything is okay with your router we can now make sure we are connected to the wi-fi 6 network so we add to the properties and we can check that the Wi-Fi 6 technology is there and everything is okay. So now we can test the Huawei X3 Pro's speed and compare it to my AC2100 router. So to check that I've made tests on two spots, one close to the two routers and one quite far from the routers with one wall through. 
and I've also made sure to disable the Wi-Fi chips on the device I was not using. Finally, I need to say that all those tests were done on a 1 gigabit connection and as you can see the two routers are not noticeably different but you still got the Wi-Fi 6 and all the technologies that come with it with the Huawei router so it is still quite a good router for the price and I still think I would recommend it. So if you guys like this video don't forget to leave a like and subscribe if you want to see more tech reviews or more tech unboxing and if you got any questions or anything on this router you can ask me in the comment section below. That's it for me, I'll see you guys later.